and thank you and welcome to the Bible Tells Me So show. The show that teaches us the promises in God's word. As you know, all the questions on the Bible Tells Me So show are based on the world's greatest reference book. The Holy Bible. Aren't you glad that every word in the Bible is true? That in it, you can find hundreds of promises to build your life on.
answer is cleansing the temple. You're cooking with gas now. What will it be? I'll choose betrayal and save when Peter denied him. The answer is Jesus. That would seem like a good answer, but since Jesus wasn't present when Peter denied him, we were looking for Judas' betrayal. Landry, it's your turn. Finally, I'll choose loneliness and say he must have felt that way at his crucifixion. Let's find out. The answer is in the garden. In the garden is the answer we were looking for. If you remember, Jesus asked his disciples to stay awake and keep him company. But they all fell asleep and he was left alone. That brings things back to you, Harvey. I'll try a pig and borrow Landry's answer and say that's what he must have felt at the crucifixion. Good answer. Good answer. The answer is... question correctly. Name a time in the Bible when Jesus felt grief. He sure seemed sad when he got the news of Lazarus' death. So much so that the Bible tells us he wept. The answer is Lazarus' death. That's 50 points for the boys. Yes, because of Jesus, God understands every emotion we have. Whether you win or whether you lose, whether you're happy or whether you're sad, no matter how you feel, God understands. We're back, and lovely Meryl Carroll is going to put us up to date on our score. The teams are tied 50 and 50, Richard. Well, that can change quickly in round three of the Bible Tells Me So show. Richard, the show is still young, and in this round, our contestants will have the opportunity to earn big points. The Bible tells us that God forgives and that God understands. And now we're going to look at the promise that God answers prayer. In this round, Richard will give our contestants a musical quiz on people in the Bible whose prayers were answered by God. Every correct answer yields 10 points. Back to you, Richard. Thank you, Isabella. Are you ready for round three? Ready. This woman prayed and prayed that she would have a son. Oh, Lord, just give me one. A fine and healthy son. Isaac came along when she was 91. 